Is the Trump administration trying to rein in U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley? The New York Times is reporting that the State Department wants to approve her speeches beforehand from now on. Robert Kittle has details. No, we won't do that. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is getting a lot of attention in her new role as U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. Sometimes she's been out in front of the rest of the Trump administration, like her speech after a chemical attack in Syria when she said Russia was complicit in the attack. Assad has no incentive to stop using chemical weapons as long as Russia continues to protect his regime from consequences. Now the State Department appears to be trying to pull Ambassador Haley back somewhat. The New York Times reports that an email from State Department diplomats says Haley's office should use building blocks written by the State Department when writing her speeches. Washington should clear her remarks first, and if anything she plans to say is substantively different from the building blocks or deals with high-profile issues like Syria, Iran, Israel and Palestine, or North Korea, her remarks should be re-cleared by Washington. Even before she was governor, Nikki Haley made a name for herself in the House, sponsoring and speaking out in favor of a bill to require more on-the-record voting instead of voice votes. The Times reports that Haley has not replaced Secretary of State Rex Tillerson as the administration's main voice on foreign affairs. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. There is no comment yet from Ambassador Haley or the State Department on that report.